In this video, I will explain how you can create pages in Next.js 13 application. So in Next.js 13, they have introduced new directory, uh, which is called as app. And inside of that, you can create pages. Other change that they have done is that instead of creating the files directly, you have to create the folders for the routes. Okay. So for example, if you want to create a page xyz.com slash about, then you will have to create a directory. Then if you want to create a page which looks like xyz.com slash person, then you will have to create a folder like this. After creating a folder, you have to create page.js, page.tsx or jsx file. So this is the special file name page.tsx or page.jsx or page.js. So this is the special file name that you have to use and that will become your page and by default this page is a server component in Next.js 13 we can use server components as well as client components and as I said by default these components are server based components so if you want to make any component a client based component what you have to do is that you have to use this directive at the top use client and then this particular component will behave as a client component instead of server component other thing that you need to note is that inside of this folder you can create other files apart from page.tsx for example if you want to wrap your page inside a layout you can create layout.tsx so layout is again a special file which you can use to create the layouts for your pages and if each page or the sub pages can have specific layout or different layouts so it's very easy to create the different layouts for the different views other interesting uh, file names are error.tsx and loading.tsx so if you want to show any error in the component you can use error.tsx so this particular uh, thing will be rendered when there is an error in the component loading.tsx this file particularly gets this particular file gets rendered when you are trying to fetch something on the server okay by the time you are trying to fetch something on the server the on the client side this particular component will get rendered and that is loading.tsx this is a, again a special file name and then we can have a components as well and as i said page.tsx is a special file and you can see that uh, right under this app directory we have got this file so you can have the like footer.tsx header.tsx these files you can get or these are the components which you can use in the layout so layout can wrap all the pages so this layout is at the top level that means all the pages Will be wrapped inside this layout.tsx and if you want to create another layout for specific sections of pages you can go to the directory and then create the layout so basically it is gonna override this uh, root level layout that's it thanks for watching